Greetings, my name's Neil. I make useful tech videos for people in the workplace or who work from home, such as this one, like how to make a cheap webcam and go from this to this. And if that sounds like something you need in your life, mate, well then slam that subscription button and ring that bell because you might not want to miss other videos like this one when I upload them. So speaking of webcams, market has been flooded over the last couple of years since we've all been working remotely with cheap webcams that boast 1080p. Proper hardcore dodge marketing. Uh, and this 1080p claim is just not living up to expectations. It just, it just isn't. I've been on the receiving end of some proper dodge video streams. But there's some things you can do to improve that picture quality. Polishing a turd is probably the expression I'd use. But the settings that I'm going to give you to improve this picture quality is not going to be the same for every camera. It depends on the lighting that you've got, but it should be the same process for pretty much every camera and you should get better results regardless of what camera you've got. So let's take a look at this process. First thing you're going to need is OBS because you can't just tweak the camera straight into Teams or Zoom or whatever meeting software you've got. You need to use a conduit. I've linked a video up here. I'm not going to repeat the process and the tutorial on how to do this sort of pre-step because uh, that'll just make this video unnecessarily longer. But you need to add your camera's device to OBS and then enable the virtual camera. You're going to improve the picture quality in OBS first and then pipe it through into Teams or Zoom as a virtual camera device. And then that's what you use instead of your webcam in, in your meeting. So once you've done that, just as a base reference, this is the Ava Media PW513, just for context as to how bad this Jellycomb camera is, right? So this is the PW513. This is a 4K webcam. It's a studio quality webcam. Uh, it, the picture is quite you know, desaturated, but it's a baseline reference. So you then add studio lighting and color grading and you end up with a phenomenal picture quality with this camera. Logitech C920, widely regarded as one of the best on the market in all lighting conditions. It's very versatile. The detail is incredible. Look at the strands of hair. Color is exceptional. Uh, it's overexposed a bit of my face. I'm facing a window, but just generally, it's one of the best on the market, but it's not the cheapest. But you do get what you pay for with webcams. It's that kind of an economy. And then you've got Jellycomb. What's happening? What's happening with this camera? It's dreadful. So this is out of the box stock settings for a cheap 1080p web camera. Uh, if, if I just move, right, look at the guitar in the background. It's pulsing all over the place as the camera tries to tries to do whatever it thinks it's supposed to do. It's got, it's got one job and it's just not doing a very good job of it. That's the autofocus trying to focus on I don't know what, right? Uh, so that's disorienting and probably nauseating for whoever's watching it. The colors are all over the place. I'm massively overexposed here. Uh, it's just fuzzy, blurry. The lens isn't the best. There's nothing we can do about that bit, I'm afraid. But there's some things we can do to improve this picture quality just by a tad. So first thing you want to do after you've added the device to OBS is go to properties and then make sure the vital stats of the camera are all plugged in. So make sure the resolution is at 1080 and the FPS is at 30. For this one, it's a 1080p 30 camera. And then the rest of the settings in here are just a default. Then you want to go to configure video. And then go to the camera control tab, the second tab, and you want to disable autofocus. That's the thing that makes it pulse. That's annoying as all hell. You're not going to be moving around in most cases with a webcam. You're going to be sat still. So you don't need autofocus in a lot of cases. So we're just going to set this as a static focus. So just grab the slider until you're in focus, which for me is about there. All right? You're never going to be razor, you know, pin sharp. But about there? Sure. All right? <laughs> no, that's a bit... I think I can go a bit less. About there. Sure. All right, apply that. Exposure. The auto exposure does a dreadful job. So it's just immediately after unticking auto exposure, I lose that white patch on my face and that's almost already a lot better. So I've, the whole scene's gone darker, but that's fine because I can increase the brightness of the scene later in other areas. So I'm just going to leave that at six, I think. So seven is way too dark. Six is okay. Seven is too bright. So six is good for me. It might not be for you. You'll have to change the sliders until you get a similar result. So you don't want any blinding patches on your face. But at the same time, you don't want, you know, you don't want dark shadows anywhere like this. And so you want the middle ground about there. Apply on that. First tab, right. These sliders, different results for different cameras. So brightness. So when I increase the brightness on this camera, it starts to go quite washed out and a bit grainy. So I don't want to use the brightness slider to boost the brightness of this scene. So I'm going to leave that actually at zero. And I'm going to use something else. Contrast doesn't work. 
No, we're going to leave that at one. It just falls apart, disintegrates. Uh, hue, I'm going to leave that alone. Saturation, same. I'm going to leave saturation alone. Sharpness, I'm going to bump that up just by one click. White balance, this is personal preference. If you go to the right, you get a warmer picture. It doesn't improve picture quality as such. It's more just, do you prefer a cooler picture or a warmer picture? I prefer a cooler picture, so I'm going to just knock that down a couple of clicks, maybe 4,400-ish. Backlight comp does absolutely nothing on this camera. And then power line frequency, 50 hertz. Okay. And then okay on that. Right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an OBS filter. Uh, this is where the magic happens. So you're going to select the filters button at the bottom. I'm just going to make this box a little bit smaller so I can see the main preview here. Click the plus on that. And then we're going to add a color correction filter and then grab the gamma slider and then look at that immediately. <laughs> immediately. This is just a different camera. Uh, this is going to di differ based on what camera you've got. Now, the more gamma you add, the brighter and the more over. Uh, it's not exposure, but you're just going to start to look too washed out. But I'd say about there. Ish, about there. Uh, contrast, increase that or decrease that. I would say decrease that a little bit and then maybe bump the brightness up to compensate. Uh, the brightness itself, no, that's washing it out. Oof. No, I'll probably leave that about... Uh, you do have more granular control using the the notches, but I'll say about there. I'm happy with that. That looks immediately better. And then saturation. Yeah, the more saturation you put in, you're going to look like a sunburn victim on a cheap web camera. So I was going to just knock that up a couple of clicks to about, in fact, you know what? I'm just going to 0.17, that'll do. And then, mate, that is miles better than when we started out. Now, if we switch back over to the Logitech camera, it's kind of personal preference now as to which one you actually prefer. So I'm clearly less saturated on this. So there's more color in the Logitech camera than there is in the Jellycom. This is, this is good enough. Absolutely good enough now. There's no studio lighting. This is naturally lit. This, this, is, this is great. That's really, really good quality now for a, a cheap webcam. If you wanted to add studio lighting, you absolutely can. And when I say studio lighting, I mean like a 30 quid ring light sat behind the monitor. And that looks epic. I mean, I'm, I'm very bright. <laughs> I could probably drip, drop the, the gamma down a little bit just to compensate for that. But that looks awesome. Now, comparing that over to the Logitech, it's now a, it's now a matter of opinion as to which one's better, isn't it? I mean, how? how what have I done? <laughs> I don't know what the Jellycomb cost, but I'm pretty sure it was sort of in the region of 30 or 40 quid. And the Logitech sort of 90 to 100 quid. Wow. And then you've got the Ava Media, which just bosses over the both of them. I mean, that's... Matter of opinion, I suppose, but there you go. That's how you take a cheap webcam, <laughs> make it a lot better. You're just using a few sliders and OBS. Uh, and speaking of OBS, I forgot to add this bit <laughs> at the end. Uh, if you just, just to wrap this up, just as the final point in OBS, just to use this in anger, make sure you turn on your virtual camera, head on over to Teams, and go into your devices, uh, your settings, and then devices, and then turn on your OBS virtual camera, and then that's it. That's how you begin to use your improved webcam when you make a test call. To test your call quality, you're now using your improved webcam as your webcam in your meeting software. Well, there you go. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, if you've watched that and you thought, mate, that was super useful, how do I repay you? <laughs> well, mate, my currency is video likes and channel subscriptions. Uh, but no, I've got a website in the description down below as well. So if you, for example, if you're looking to buy an Autodesk license and you're looking for a discount, I've got a link in there to Autodesk's current discounts. And if you buy or subscribe to an Autodesk license using one of my codes uh, or one of my links, then Autodesk give me a kickback for sending you their way. Uh, and also my businesses are down there as well. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that useful. And I'll see you in the next one. Doodles.